Dear Mother Nature, it is April and it is springtime. Please start acting like it. Thanks for listening. Aloha! It's time for Act 2, Scene 2. This scene takes place in Caesar's house, and the night before, Calpurnia, Caesar's wife, had this horrible nightmare where there was a statue of Caesar that was bleeding, and then a whole load of Romans were soaking up his blood and rejoicing in his death. And somehow she convinces Caesar not to go to the Senate meeting because she feels that this is a bad omen and that he shouldn't go because he might not come back. And Caesar calls for a bunch of augurs' prophecies. And augurs were people, they're kind of like fortune tellers. They killed animals and then looked at the animals' guts and organs and stuff and told fortunes from that. So they he called on the augurs to see what they would say. And they said that it was a bad idea. So he's like, okay, I'll stay home. And then Calprini is like, yay, my hubby won't die. But then... Decius, one of Caesar's buddies, and also one of the conspirators, comes along, and he's all, Hey, Caesar, you should go to the Senate meeting. And Caesar's like, Oh, I think I won't. And he says, What? Why? And then Caesar says, Because I trust you and because I love you, I will tell you. And then he explains how Calpurnia had the bad dream. And then Decius says, You're seriously going to let the woes of a woman keep you back? And then Caesar's like, Whoa, you're so right. See ya, Calpurnia. I'm gonna go face evil and stuff, and I'm Caesar, so nothing can touch me. Do, 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 can't touch this. And then the rest of the conspirators arrive, as well as Mark Antony, and then they all leave Caesar's house and go to the Capitol building as friends. Right now, let's start with Act 2, Scene 3. It starts off, and this is the only person in the scene, Artemidorus, who's a random guy who hasn't been mentioned ever before the scene and he writes a letter to Caesar because he knows about the conspirators plot and this is what the letter basically says don't trust oh never trust oh don't trust oh don't trust me I figured I should probably put in these notes for clarification basically Artemis's letter was just him saying don't trust all of the conspirators and also I said hose like h-o-s-e like garden hose because this is a school project and I wouldn't do anything inappropriate. So all of you people who heard something else, shame on you. And now it's time for Act 2, Scene 4. It starts off at Brutus's house, right outside his house, and Portia, his wife, summons their servant, Lucius, and Portia says, Lucius, go to the Senate house, quick! And Lucius says, okay, madam, what do you want me to do there? And Portia says, I don't know, just go! So then Lucius goes, and then the soothsayer walks by, and then they have a really weird conversation where the soothsayer is like, I have to go tell Caesar something, and then Portia's like, do you know of what's happening? And the soothsayer is like, maybe I do, maybe I don't. And then Portia's like, oh, okay, bye. Bye. I'm so woman-like, I need to leave now. And that's the end of the scene. Comments, questions, constructive criticism, jokes down in the comments, and I'll see you in Act 3. Yay!